Eurovision star Mattis Hedda, who is best known for performing for Norway in the 1980s song competition, died at the age of 63. His family have confirmed the sad news. The singer was best known for representing Norway back in 1980, alongside his co-stars Verik Gelsberg, who died in 2016. The pair finished 16th in the contest, but their tracks Ami Deadman remained a favorite with fans in their home country. In a statement to NRK, the star's family confirmed he had died after battling an illness, though they did not specify what he had been fighting. Norwegian singer Mari Boyne told NRK, Mattis Hedda was one of our brave men who helped make the yike visible in Norway and internationally through his collaboration with Sverik Gelsberg. The song Sami Deednan was important and I listened a lot to the album they released together, in the 80s when I started writing myself. So both of them inspired me, you can safely say. Tributes have poured in on social media for the beloved star and activist. One pen, I just found out, that Mattis Hedda who represented Hashtag Norway in the 1980 Hashtag Eurovision has passed away yesterday, 9th November. Sami Dednan was also used as a protest song by the Sami people. Another posted, oh no I just saw that the Sami guy from Eurovision 1980 has passed away. I hope he's jiking somewhere in the heavens. A third social media user wrote, rest in peace, Mattis Hedda. I will always remember you for this unforgettable performance, as someone else spent, just saw the news that Mattis Hedda died and now I'm sad. I don't even know much about him or his work but his yike, and the whole song to be fair, at Eurovision is iconic. Another remarked, if Terry's one comforting thought after the passing of Mattis Hedda yesterday, it's that, if this were an entry now, people would actually know what it was about. Following the performance, Mattis went on to work in pantomimes and yikes in Alta, Katakino, and Luulea. He later trained to become a teacher and released an album named after his native village Maze. A year before his Eurovision performance, Mattis took part in protests against government plans to build an electricity plant near the village of Maze, a place predominantly inhabited by Sami people. Mattis, who was 20 at the time, started jiking during the protests near the Norwegian parliament in 1979. The 1980 Eurovision performance helped raise awareness about the issues important to the Sami people. Their memorable performance was marked one of the first times jiking was heard on stage, 